fulfilling your dreams. And we're so honored to have some incredible individuals here today. You have to first start creating for you to be successful. Anything that's been accomplished on earth started by somebody doing what? Creating it, right? Go big all the time, all day. And part of your going big, I want you to be bold today. I want you to walk up to everyone that's standing up here and introduce yourself. Every student that graduates with a proficiency in STEM or STEAM is not just a testament to our state educational system, but you are the catalyst for our state's economic growth. Life is not won by playing small ball. You can go as far as your dreams are willing to take you. Right now, you're building the foundation for your life. And if you do the things necessary now, it's going to allow you the opportunities to be successful in the future. And my overall experience here, it was amazing. It was so many career opportunities. I learned so much that I didn't know before. People who are successful have built in habits and routines in their life that build a character in them, a character that people want to come alongside, that they want to emulate, they want to go into business with. As leaders, you know, you, you want to meet the person who's constantly asking that question. If you get that opportunity, don't back off. The worst, the worst a guy can say is no. If you're in a situation, which you will be, that there are problems, be one of those who are coming up with solutions and not one of those who are just trying to find out who caused the problem. What I want you to think of your personal brand is your hallway reputation. What do people say about you when you're not around, when you can't be there in the room? And if you have to work on it, you have to work on it. When you want to get to the gold, when you want to get to the finish line, when you want to make that touchdown, you have to go into your reserve energy and keep going. And so education is so important because I believe that education is the equalizer. It is the thing that can get you to the next level. Success is you, what you want to do. Climb the ladder. If you get knocked down a rung or two, get back up and start again. Eventually, if you're successful in your career, you become him. You become her. What you'll find out, you get your most joy out of giving back and serving to others. I'm Gersem Nanwalia, Associate Dean of School of Computer and Cyber Sciences at Augusta University. A lot of students are interested in pursuing math and computing and cybersecurity majors. They're really interested in the pathways these opportunities create for them beyond graduation, for them to pursue startups, entrepreneurship, and other really good opportunities. So it's been a great to be part of this initiative and wholeheartedly support them. Seeking genuine connection with the other people. It's not a mercenary activity where you're trying to collect business cards or you're trying to see who's important in the room. Rather than going into it with a selfish perspective of how can they help me, go into it with how can I help them? Learn what's going on in that person's life and in their career and, and think about how you might be a solution to a potential problem that they're having. Don't ever believe that you can't do it before you figure it out. And what I realized in my high school years, I didn't want to chase money. I wanted to chase being successful. If you plan out your future, it will work for you, right? You have to go out and execute and work on your crab. You should model your mirror, and your mirror should model you. Every time that you walk into a place, your appearance should speak for you first before you even open up your mouth. When you get home, look in the mirror, and tell yourself, stop lying to yourself about how small you are. You are major. You're so major that you're the only one like you in this entire world. So if you're the only one, your value is already limitless.